Welcome to the first video of the series on stable enrichment. In each of these videos, I will be addressing one major issue of stabling and providing you with tips on how to make your stable a little bit more horse-friendly. Free-ranging horses spend 16 to 18 hours a day foraging on a variety of plant life and will rarely fast voluntarily for more than 2 hours. But when kept in stable, horses are often limited to one type of forage as they quickly finish, leaving them hungry and bored for long hours. It is important to provide multiple sources of forage that have different flavor and texture in order to improve the quality of the stable experience. In the wild, horses will regularly leave preferred species of herb and grass to graze on sites containing less preferred plant life. This shows the horse's natural need for multiple types and sources of forage. In addition, providing your horse with multiple forage can greatly reduce the incidence of oral stereotypy such as grape biting. One easy way to provide your horse with a bit of variety is to create flavored hay using herbal tea. Here I have infused some chamomile in hot water before adding it to a bucket filled with clean water. I then put the hay to soak for an hour. Toys are also very important as they increase foraging time, reduce stereotypic behavior and provide mental stimulation. There are many toys commercially available including bull feeders that the horse can manipulate to obtain high fiber food pellet. But you can also make your own. Here I'm making a DIY version of a popular commercial toy, using a ball and a hay net. Place the ball in the hay net, pass twine through the net hole going in and out, and then finish with a double knot. Take a pair of scissors and cut just above the string. With your finished toy, you got two options. You can either hang it in your stable, or if your horse is barefoot, you can leave it on the ground. Add the carrot and give it to your horse for him to play with. Because of modern management practice where horses are often restricted to flat pasture and stable, a lot of people forget that horses do not only graze, they browse. Browsing can be provided in a stable by creating a treat branch. All you need to do is to find a branch and add fruits and veg to the twig. A horse natural diet also consists of twigs and tree bark, so it is perfectly okay if your horse eats some of his treat branch. Horses' favorite branches include oak with no acorn, ash, poplar, and apple branches, so keep an eye out for these. Horses naturally eat slowly. One way to control foraging speed is to use slow feeders. There are a lot of slow feeders out there, but my favorite are the ones that mimic grazing by allowing the horse to eat with his head straight down. Because my horses are barefoot, I personally use a net directly on the floor and scatter the rest of the hay alongside the walls, scatter feeding being another way to control foraging speed. Slow feeders and scatter feeding are not restricted to forage. You can use the same method to slow down the rate at which your horse eats his grain and supplement. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And if you want to access exclusive videos on learning theory and training, check out the Ferrosmanship Club. The link to the club is in the description below.